If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left And if he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river Jump, 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 everybody If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left And if he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right We're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river Dance, 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 everybody If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left And if he goes to the right girls and welcome to Solid Rocks Online Children's Church. So how are you keeping today? Well, yes, same for me. I'm enjoying the sun and it seems like we're going to have a few days, a few nice sunny days. So last week, do you remember the story that you watched? Yes, what were the names, if you can remember, of those three men that were thrown in the fire? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, well done. And do you remember what Olu said about them? Oh yes, you remembered that there was a fourth man in the fire and that fourth man was Jesus and Jesus protected them from getting 
burned. Yes, exactly. And why were they turning the fire again? Do you remember? Yeah, they wouldn't bow down to another God. They stood up for the truth. So remember to always stand up for the truth and Jesus will protect you. Okay, today we are going to talk about something else. I have here with me a plant. So, can anyone tell me what's the name of this plant? Yes, it's a cactus. It is a cactus. And be careful. I want to go to near because it's very prickly. Right. Now, have you ever wondered why God created such a weird plant? I mean, it could have been smooth like, you know, roses. There's a reason. Yes, because cactuses grow in dry places where it doesn't rain a lot. So, whatever water they get, the little water they get, they need to keep it and to use it very sparingly. And what happens in the desert? You do have animals that are thirsty and hungry and they would eat anything, any plants with water in it. Yes. But then guess what? Cactuses are spiky. So those spikes protect them from being eaten by animals. Exactly. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I just mentioned that cactuses have water inside of them and the little water that they have keeps them alive for a long time. Today we're going to talk about another kind of water that is more important. But before I tell you more about this, let's watch the story together. Jesus had been teaching in Judea. He and his disciples began traveling back to Galilee. They traveled through Samaria and stopped in a town with a well. Jesus' disciples went into town to buy food. While Jesus was at the well, a Samaritan woman came to get water from the well. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. The woman was surprised. Why are you talking to me? She asked. You are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. Jesus said, I asked you for a drink. You don't know who I am. If you did, you would have asked me for a drink and I would give you living water. The woman was confused. She said, Sir, this well is deep and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said, Anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water I give will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water I give will become a well inside you and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to this well to get water. Go get your husband, Jesus said. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus knew she was telling the truth. He said, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. Jesus was right. I see you are a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet could explain something to her, she said. The Samaritans worship here on a mountain, but the Jews say we need to worship at the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, soon you will not need to be in either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town, Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? 
Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus stayed in their town for two days. Many more believed because of what Jesus said. They told the woman, We no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the Savior of the world. Jesus offers something better than physical water. He gives us himself. Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who comes to him by faith. We can worship him as Lord and Savior wherever we are. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back. So you just watched the story of Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman. And one thing I want you to remember, Jesus spoke about living water. And the Samaritan woman, she didn't know, she had no clue what Jesus was talking about. All she knew is that I came here to draw water out of the well because I need water for my cooking and for, for my washing and for drinking. But this man is talking about living water. What is he on about? But what Jesus explained was so important. And that is what I want you to understand today. That when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when you believe in Jesus, living water will flow out of you. It's the water that represents the Holy Spirit that comes into your life. And basically, when the Holy Spirit lives in you, you receive the life, the abundant life, the power of the Holy Spirit. And that life doesn't just stop here on earth. It's eternal life. It means that even when your body dies, your spirit is alive forever and ever and ever. And I'm sure you want to remain alive forever and ever and ever. But the good, and the good news is you remain alive in the presence of God. Eternal life in the presence of God. So this is what Jesus meant by living water. And that living water is more important than our daily water. Of course we need water for our daily lives. But we need the living water for our eternal life, which will last way longer than the life we have at the moment on earth. So I hope you enjoy, you enjoy today's story. Please join us next time for another vibrant lesson and enjoy your week. Bye. these living waters
shoreline Life is in these living waters There's a river that flows With mercy and love Bringing joy to the city of our God There are hope is secure Do not fear anymore Praise the Lord of living waters Jesus said, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them.